one reason people say they don't want to text in Irish is that it's really hard or they don't know how to put fathers on and this kind of stuff. Um, but you can use an app called SwiftKey. It has like a, a dictionary of like, um, you know, whatever, 50,000 words or something like that, or 50,000 forms and verbal form or plural forms or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you type in a certain word in, say, you can, you can download a couple of languages and have them on, on at the same time. So if you if you speak if you type if you text in English to some of your friends in Irish to some of your friends in French to a friend or whatever and um, you start a friend, yeah, you friend. friend that's what usually happens for me <laughs> um, uh, you might text you, you basically type in the word and if the if the letters you've typed in match a one a word a specific word from one language then your phone will sort of or the text language will ch change that language then you can type away in French mm -hmm. and then if you go if you're talking to someone else if you will do A-G-U-S it's probably going to go oh August now we're writing in Gaelic and then, mm -hmm. then it'll go, uh, go, go so I only have English and Irish but then it, it learns my Irish slang as well and I often write when I'm writing fast I write rev like on rev through own like or you why do you do that because it actually is faster even though there is whatever even though I have to exercise these things I'm still sticking to it I remember someone in the Gaelic when I was 12 or 13 wrote down V, Shiva and Shia, and the letter V, and I remember being like, <laughs> amazing. There's no V in yeah. Irish, except when you want to text. There are some phones now that you can Sorry. do in Irish, so let's talk about them. Yeah, so one of the, the, the first phone, I think, was the Samsung Taco, um, and I, I think I got a version of that, and it was terrible. It was a touchscreen phone, but uh, it might as well not have been, because you, you couldn't really do anything with it. Mm -hmm. It was that, that, around that time where, like, the smartphone apps were like you know a lighter and it would just look like a lighter on your screen and oh, it, was, it wasn't okay, really yeah. well it didn't really have that much functionality um but it was available in irish it was available in irish yeah and i, mean, I think it had uh, tour hex or predictive text at that time yeah and when you wanted to send a message what did it say because i remember a friend of mine own mac posting about this i think he had a screenshot from his phone um, well, he had a, Gal a Samsung at some later stage, but to send a message, it wasn't Scrieve, it was Cum. Oh, very good. Which is in Irish, which is like to create, and it's spelled C U M. So, to people who don't speak Irish, that's very funny. Um, oh, is it, that's, that, that's still on the Samsung, actually, yeah, on the Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. It says Cum, uh, C U M, yeah, if you want to find that. So it's the Gmail project. Mm. And actually, when we did that, we recognized that maybe as an issue. Um, when you did it, so you were translated the Gmail. Yeah, I want to point out how much of this, how much of the internet owned has translated well, every I, time. To be honest, not that much, not that much. <laughs> but I was involved in some of the bigger projects. Um, uh, but there's a, there's sort of a team of us involved in them, um, led by our spiritual leader Kevin uh, Kevin Scannell, mm -hmm. and a sort of a raggle taggle group of people called and re re evocative. So Michal Michal Macher, um, Cormac Branagh, uh, Sean O'Christian, Brian Ball, and maybe lots of other people. But I think those 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 are the most central people to mm -hmm. it. But anyway, at one point we had translated, I think it's maybe right, right in Gmail, the button to write a new email is, is right. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Or maybe is it create? I have my Irish for so long, I can't even remember. It's hard to remember. But anyway, whatever it is, our it must have been create, because we, we translate that as, as come. Yeah. So C-U-M. And then there was a bit of a moment of panic where we were just saying, like, we, this, part, this product is going to launch, and the only thing people are going to take from this is that the most visible button on the whole thing says come yeah. uh, and then we said how about Shkriev and that might be more natural as well so we eventually went with that um, so apologies to all the people out there who would have been big fans of come <laughs> it's very anglo-centric to not have it just because some people who speak English will find it funny maybe but I think I think you do have to recognise like the vast vast majority of people who speak Irish you know have very good English I know they just, yeah. it, I think it might have taken the I think, I think Gmail is a very good product and we, I think I, I, we were probably, no we you're were dead right no it. obviously I think it would be it, hilarious if you had come on, fr on the front page of Reddit on that day <laughs> the Irish translation of you know Gmail is out yeah, and yeah. it's wonderful